Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at how to render a final image. So up till now we've been previewing what an image looks like using the Arnold Render drop down here and we can preview what this is going to look like. But as I said, this is just a preview. Uh, notice in this Arnold Render view I could orbit the scene over in the editor here and it will real-time render a preview of what that would look like. If you wait a little bit, the grain will eventually go away. Uh, but uh, this is not how to save a rendered image. So let's um, close this away. And what I like my students doing is rendering higher quality. So when you know that you're finished, first you would save. And then come over to the Render Settings button right over here. And in here, here is the Render Settings first thing I'll do, I will draw, grow all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to change pixels to inches and uh, the way we print, we print at 13 or excuse me 19 width by 13 height but you can change this to be letter size of your choice. It's at 72 resolution as a default we are going to change this to 300 resolution. In the Arnold renderer, I will sometimes change this camera AA to a 4, and this will help to remove some grain in my image. And once I'm done, I'll press close. And to render, first find your best view, the view that you want to have this render out as, and I will press this button right here. This is the render button. And when I click on this, I just wait a few seconds for the spinning wheel to go away. And I can slide this over, and you can see it's beginning to render out my 300 resolution image. And I paused that video so that we could have the finished render and you wouldn't have to wait. Now let's save. So I'm going to just slide this over, and I'm going to go to File. And that's the file that's here on the renderer. File, save image. The first time you save, you're going to have to change to this checkbox right here. Color man managed image. I'm going to name this. So render it. Uh, name it, please. Save it where you want to save it. Maybe the desktop or something else. And make sure that the file type is JPEG. And click save. And that's it. That's how you're going to save. So good luck and give it a try.